Hey everyone, welcome back to the Clinch River Homestead. I'm John. I'm Nicole. Today we're gonna to be getting the Branson out again and we're gonna be putting the backhoe to some use. Come with us, we'll show you what we got going on today. All right, just got down to the tractor, so you know what time it is. While I'm doing this, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. We get to be out today and wish John a happy 40th birthday today. Woohoo! Big four. Oh. Notice this big old pile over here to the right. The other day, we had piled up all that wood out there on the front, but I didn't even realize that it wasn't even on the property line yet, so we just had to move it over here to the right. I did that yesterday. Uh, I really want to get the rest of these telephone poles that, that are in the ground out. All right, let's see what we got to work with over here with these poles. I got this stump on the back side of it. And over here, I've got a big stump on the right-hand side of this pole. What I might do is try to bring the tractor up here and kind of angle it in backwards here and then try to get at this thing. I'm going to take a strap and I'm going to strap it around the pole and then just try to pick it out of there. Alright, so the plan for this one, is I don't want to be out in the road that long, is we're going to use the grapple on the front end, but hopefully it'll just pull it out of the ground. Well, plan one didn't work. All right, so that turned out to be a success. We got all the poles out up here. So now we're gonna work down here and try to get some of that brush cleared. So before I start cutting any of this down, I just wanna show you how much barbed wire and fencing is all caught up into this stuff. So you can see all the barbed wire and the fencing so needless to say, there was a lot of barbed wire that we had to deal with. So I gotta get the whiz wheel out. Let's get going. All right, so we're making progress over here. But I wanted to show you guys these thorn trees that we've got to deal with here. And when you cut them down, you really don't want to drag them across your property because they will leave these huge thorns everywhere. All right, look at that thorn. I hope you can see just how many thorns are on this thing. Okay, so we got a birthday dinner to go to tonight, mine. <laughs> So I think we're gonna pack everything up for now and get ready for dinner, what do you say? Yeah, sounds good. Yup. Well, thanks everybody for joining us here today on the Clinch River Homestead. If you haven't done so, go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. We'll see you on the next one. See everybody next time. Thanks for watching.